The songs on the radio are okay. My taste in music is your face. Women. Gay. Do you know what I mean? In my attempt to soft launch more women love women content on my channel. I will start that off with a movie called Shiva Baby, which I don't know if you've heard about, but if you're anything like me for real, then you have heard about this movie a little while back and have been putting off seeing it for whatever reason. And I am now here as your bisexual fairy godmother. <laughs> your bi fa go mo bi fa go mo I'm your Bifogomo. I'm here to grant you the opportunity to see some of it, although there will be spoilers because this is gonna be a reaction video and commentary, reaction slash commentary video because I will be talking a lot throughout it. This is me giving you an, a, a reason to finally see it yourself by giving you commentary on it and seeing it for the first time as me. For the uninitiated, you do not know Rachel Sennett. You've not heard of Emma Seligman before. Um, same, prior to this. Well, actually, no, that's not 100% true. The first time I heard about uh, Rachel Sennett, the first time I'd ever seen her was in a show that um, I, I don't even remember exactly what it was called. But that was the first time I heard about Rachel Sennett. And so I looked her up. That's just what you do in the middle of a show and a, a character catches your eye. You're just like, I need more of that one, please. And so I looked her up, found out about Shiva Baby. By the way, I'm filming this intro after I'd already watched the, the movie and recorded the commentary reaction for you because I thought this would be a better format. I'd be able to properly introduce it and maybe add some little tidbits here and there because I already have for foresight. I have foreskin sight into this movie. So, you know, I'm kind of a, I'm kind of a genioso. Yeah, I'd already seen it. You're gonna be watching me watching it for the first time, which is the footage that I recorded before this. I've over explained this. Calm down, Noah. Yeah, no problem, got you. I encourage you guys to watch this though on your own time. I cannot stress that enough. I mean, just a little bit of a spoiler, I guess, for this commentary reaction. I ended up enjoying it, but I will tell you more on that, like more about that and why I did at the end of the video, so stick around. What caught my eye about this? Why did I decide to put out a video for this one. Of all the women of women's and women love women's women's content. I tried to look up a little bit because I had found out that Rachel Sennett had actually written a movie called Bottoms, which is coming out this month, I think August 25th. This movie looks like it's gonna be so sick and it is described, I kid you not, by the creators themselves and people online as a queer fight club. It had all of the words that made my brain go bzz, bzz. But anyway, super excited about this. I'm excited to see Bottoms. In my desperation to see Bottoms when it comes out and to be able to support it, I tried to look up in my local theaters if it was gonna be showing here. Obviously it's not, and that makes me sad. <laughs> Check out the trailer. I'll link it in my description boop. And for more incentive to see it, actually, if you look at the trailer, you might notice some familiar faces. Um, and then like as a last note, if you are interested in seeing Shiva Baby, which you should be, you should be able to stream it on Hulu, HBO Max. It's rentable on YouTube. It's rentable on Amazon Prime or Amazon. I just got Amazon Prime Video. I don't know how that shit works. Apple TV. So yeah, go ahead and try to find this movie because unfortunately as an indie film, it's not the most accessible all the time, but it should be pretty accessible if you're in the United States, which according to my analytics is the majority of my audience. <laughs> so happy WLWing and <gasps> dub L dub. starts out already so intense. <laughs> I'm kind of here for it. Mad Mensch Productions. 
Oh, okay. Actually, that reminds me. I should probably say this now before I forever hold my peace. I have no fucking idea what a shiva is. I'm just being a silly goose right now. A silly goose with like no information. So if I say anything that's kind of weird, please know that it's from a place of ignorance. Okay, I can't show that, but you good? Something else is vibrating. I'm thinking it's the phone. Hi, it's me. It's mommy. Not mommy. Not mommy calling her right after daddy. Danielle, your father, useless. <gasps> Danielle, your father. You're just like your father. Busy day? I have this brunch thing that I have to get ready for. Oh, with another client? Yes. Does he have hair? Yes. Does he have teeth? Oh wait, oh wait, he said client. And now he, he's also asking about his dental records, which, you know, we don't have to touch that. She does this for a living then. Also, this is such a random note, but like, I find it so interesting how people can just switch themselves on and off depending on the context. Just earlier, she was screaming his name. She was like, she was like peak vulnerable human when she was coming, if she did come. But like, you know, even just like having sex, I suppose, it's like pretty much you're vulnerable to things. Um, it's like you're shitting or sneezing. And the moment that it's done, they just go back to being regular human beings. And I know that maybe that's not a unique thought. Neither is a very interesting one. Is that an interesting thought? Was that something that I wanted to put out there? Is it funny at least? I don't think it's funny. It's just me being like, I don't understand how people can do this sometimes. I, maybe this is more like revealing towards me than anyone else, but whatever. Well, how are you gonna get through law school when you're busy screwing around with these guys? Huh, okay, she's going to law school. Is he marking her? Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, it's a gift. He's gifting her. <laughs> um, the payment. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think it's really great to like, um, support females, particularly um, female entrepreneurs who will be doing nothing with their business majors in sociology. Okay. <laughs> cool. Sure. Great. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Like, don't get me wrong, the sound design is great. It's doing a pretty good job of making me feel uncomfortable <laughs> because I am uncomfortable. I have a thing about sound. This is not like, you're new here probably. You don't know this about me. I'm about to reveal it. I have a thing about sounds. The way that sounds can sometimes trigger things in me, right? That that, that sound of like, uh, <laughs> trigger warning, I'm about to repeat it. It's this one, this. Like that dry, like, that dry ass goldfish kiss. I hate it. That is a zero out of 10 for me. Um, I would much rather just like eat garbage and then like survive the parasite that I developed from that and then die a slow death shortly after. Also, he's disgusting. <laughs> he's just like in general, kind of gross. Just like she was pulling away from him too in the beginning when like he was trying to kiss her still and almost like to shut him up, her body language, the body language is great. Her body language was just like, okay, I'm just gonna kiss him and like get this over with. Musical score, here for it. He doesn't listen or he's got Alzheimer's. How was the funeral? Ah. Eulogies were shit. I like them. You like everything. Um, You look great. Yeah, you Do look I? Great. Yeah, mom, you, you look good. You didn't say that in a very self-assured way. No, I <laughs> you look great, mom. Where'd you get that bracelet? Um, Why do moms be saying such weird shit sometimes? Why are you be saying that you look so good with makeup on? Like, stop quantifying beauty. Yeah, I think you got it for me in like high school or something. Really? Yeah. I'm amazing. Mm -hmm. I think we remember how she got it. She got that good glock glock. What's my sound bite again? You know, just that you're finishing up finals and uh, you got a few job interviews lined up. Oh, a shiva is like what happens after the funeral? I should just look this up. This is so stupid. Okay. Why is Maya here? Mai? Wait, it's... mom, who died? I'm so sorry for your loss. Same. She was so, she was so full of life, you know? <laughs> she was so, yeah, I'm really, oh. um, Oh, uh, Maya. I mean, Danielle. Uh, Columbia, oh my God. 
I think that's a really nice detail to be like, oh, they kind of look alike because they probably spent a lot of time together before. And that's why people are <laughs> thinking that they're interchangeable. It's still offensive. That's great. She lost so much weight. Yeah, quite a lot. Is she okay? I hate this. I'm getting so much anxiety. I'm getting secondhand anxiety. Like, on top of my already existing anxiety, whenever I'm thrust into situations like this, that's how I feel. I feel so trapped in it. Like, especially in, like, situations like this where it's a funeral. Oh, good lord. Like, sad to hear about this person that died in your life. Anyway, my kid's going to Princeton. Is she seeing anyone? Not at the moment, no. Is Maya seeing anyone? Not at the moment, no. Are you interested in either of them? You know that's inappropriate, madam. <gasps> okay, it's happening. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? Um, I'm good. I'm really good. Um, yeah, you seem it. I'm good. Congrats on law school, that's really great. Thanks. Are they both in law school? Wait, did she lie? Oh my God, I'm maybe picking up on that just now. So she lied to the first guy saying that she was in law school. She's clearly not. She's doing media. Maya's the one in law school? That's kind of, huh. How's um, babysitting? Good. Babysitting. No. I mean, mm, no. I didn't know that I was going to see you today because I thought that you would still be taking finals. I finished them yesterday. And what? You just had to like race home for your best friend, Annie? Who's Abby. Annie? Oh. Were you even at the funeral? Yeah. I mean, she wasn't, but she was still witnessing a death in some way. <laughs> Why did you ask? You can't just like show up to like the after party for a Shiva. Why am I on Yahoo? Is Shiva a... Wake, followed by gathering at the mourner's home. The first seven days following the funeral is known as Shiva, and the mourners generally stay at home and receive guests to help them pray and reflect upon their loss. Judaism allows for a deep mourning period during the celebration of life and beautification of yourself and your surroundings are considered distractions from the religious healing process. You must be really grieving your friend Annie. Well, actually, our families are really close. You know, um, she actually played bridge with my puppy. Bubby? Yeah. Are you like thrilled to be home with your peak audience? <coughs> Wait, I'm not thrilled. I'm grieving. It's a funeral. Peak audience? Mom, 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 mom. Okay. Who died? Abby. Uncle Bordy's second wife's sister. You remember her? She used to play bridge with Bubby. Really? Wait, what? <laughs> she used to play bridge with Bubby for, for real? Danielle. <gasps> oh my god, it's the guy. That's the guy she was calling daddy. And I think, is he talking to her father? He is. Just two dads sitting in a hot tub. That's Paul and Cheryl Shapiro's nephew. Damn, Annie or Abby? Wait, Abby. <laughs> Abby really fucked them over, huh, by dying. <laughs> no, like, how is the singular person now connecting all of these people? Like, Abby was a social butterfly is what I'm getting. No. Maybe he can help you. Mom, oh, no. stop. I know, I have to go. I mean, he does support women and women entrepreneurs. No, stop. No, 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 mom, no, mom. No, 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 no. Max worked for your father years ago. Really? Yes. Hi. How surprising. <laughs> Do you kids know each other? Um, mm -hmm. yeah, we met uh, a really long time ago. No kidding, how? Uh, at the, uh... Um, at the... the uh, he was inside me, uh... You met at Shul? Yeah, I was volunteering for the children. What children? Really, I can't even get you to go to services it's with the me. the thing, it's, um, you can, you can volunteer for the, the Jewish children. <laughs> the organization of volunteering for Jewish children. Yeah, I've heard of it. <laughs> you babysit. How often do you do that? Just, you know, whenever they need me. They don't give you a schedule? No. No schedule? No schedule, mom. Huh. Well, do you enjoy it? What is he doing? You've never paid a bill in your life. Well, that's, I don't, that's, you that know what I mean. mean. she's not responsible. <laughs> I paid bills. Didn't the mom say that she wasn't living with her anymore? God, I hate it. I hate this. <laughs> I'm just here trying to defend, I'm projecting, because this is an all too familiar situation where so many statements are being made and they're all false. 
They're hearsay. But also like, what the fuck is he doing? He's being so weird. I don't know, why are you being weird about the fact that she said a few lies and played into your fantasy? Wouldn't that just make sense? Like, they're not dating. He's a client. He's given her gifts, yeah, like expensive shit, but like, I just feel like Rachel Tennant in this situation is like not to blame. I mean, Danielle, sorry. She has done nothing wrong and has never done anything wrong ever, so. You're studying business? Uh, no, not business. No, no, she's studying gender. The business of gender. It's like um, gender business. Do they actually have a history that isn't just fucking? Is that it? Like, is he in love with her? I mean, it looks like it. Or he just feels like he was wrong. Because look at his face. Look at the face of this white man. And he was one-upped. And that's just about it. Like, that's the only reason why any of these things matter. And he's trying to, like, best her in front of her goddamn parents. Like, you are so gross, sir. You're disgusting. Yeah, well, what are you saving up for? Your own apartment? Yes, she's doing just that. Daddy's not going to be paying for that apartment forever. But I mean, daddy's been paying for other things. <laughs> As he should, though, because they have a transaction of the business variety. She's a businesswoman in that sense. You don't think that's a business, sir? I mean, maybe he could he could help you find the ideal position. Yeah, I'm sure he can, but I already have a plan. There's <laughs> acting, there's film, there's comedy. YouTube for me, please. What are you talking about, mom? I'm not gonna blow him in the bathroom. We are at a shiva. That's what I'm saying. I'm not gonna do it. Of course, he's married. Huh? Hmm? He's what? married? Yeah, huh? Max? Oh, he's good. I thought you were a vegetarian. I thought you were American. Didn't you guys have a baby this year? Oh my gosh. That's fantastic. Oh, that. What great news. <laughs> you, you think that you're allowed to give her shit? for lying about being a business wham when it's not even a lie. Like I said, Danielle has never lied a day in her life. She's perfect. This man is so disgusting. Like you were fully grown, a kid on the way, married, and you're fucking dicing up your morals based on like what girls are doing with the money that they get when they're running a pretty legitimate business and transaction with you. And you're being fucking weird about, I fucking hate men sometimes, I swear to God. You thought that baby was cute? Yes. It was hideous, freakishly pale, and no nose. Oh my God. Not them talking about Renesmee. What the fuck? Diana Agron. Diana fucking Agron. She smelled queerness, so she entered the room. Hey. Diana Agron is his wife. Because yeah, of course he would have two women that are way too, way, way too good for him. Like they could do so much better by dating each other. And yet, you. Well, I mean, are they gonna put the baby on the buffet yeah. table? Because they should. She definitely got her mom's ass. <laughs> How could that baby be ugly when the mom is Diana Agron? Well, that's unrealistic. Hi! Oh, oh my god! Is that Bubby? It looks so gorgeous. Oh my god, god. stop! Just yesterday, you were the same age as Mason. It's crazy. I know he's gonna be more misfit later <gasps> this year. Sorry, sorry. Now, look at this. Isn't this cute? Is she okay? Wait. Did that get her skin or just the tights? Oh, oh, oh no, oh no. Imagine she gets tetanus from this. Like she'll be, she'll be getting infections left and right of different kinds. There are already so many moving parts happening. The wife has just arrived at the Shiva, Dana Agron, who maybe they mentioned her name. I had already forgotten it because I'm really bad with names, um, but my taste in music is your face. Just everything about this entire day is stress upon stress. Not even just for a regular human being, but imagine that for a bisexual. <laughs> Two of the people that you've been romantically linked and intimately linked with in the same place, the guy is also there with his wife and child. Your parents are being the most overbearing parents who have ever overbearing parentament. She's about to explode. Danielle's about to like lose her mind at some point, and she's gonna create some very bisexual chaos. I don't even know if I want her to end up with anyone. I just kind of want this day to be over because it's going on forever. <sighs> oh God, there's a ringing happening in her. I feel that, I hear that. Wait, who is that? I don't know if that's, is that Maya? Or is that like a whole other girl? Maybe she wants to seduce Max and like get him caught in a lie somehow with his child. 
In stressful situations, what's your internal OST? You know what mine is? I would be lying if I said that there wasn't any Taylor Swift in there. I've matured. So any boyfriends? Um, no, not yet, or right now. What um, was your major again, sweetie? No, no, she doesn't have a major, mom. Uh, she makes it up. I actually don't think that Maya's trying to be snappy and catty here. I think she's genuinely trying to help. Such nice girls. Mm-hmm. The best of gal pals. People even bring kids to ship us. Here, let me help you. Why do people bring kids anywhere? I'm just kidding. Weren't you wearing um, tights before? No. No? She's very pretty, but she's too yeah. old for you. <laughs> That's Diana Agron. She never ages. It's like the essence I want in 15 years. What? Boring, like, wife who, like... Okay, you're struggling, Danielle. You're struggling a little bit. Like, I love you, but girl, pack it up. Like, she's like a hot businesswoman, basically a single mom. Why would you call her a businesswoman? You know how Danielle is super insecure about that. She's not a businesswoman. She's yeah, like, she's, really, she's an entrepreneur. Yeah, my mom told me she has like three businesses, but that's what I'm saying. You can't tell because she's so chill about it. His type is just like girls that build businesses. What do you want then? What are you trying to get? Do you want a girlfriend, a fuck buddy, or a person to have insider trading with. Like who the fuck? It's progressive but toxic. It's toxic fem femin fem feminism, <laughs> which it probably isn't, but it sounds that way. Like it's just such a weird standard to, and also to feel that that makes you progressive as a man is that actually I exclusively only date or fuck girls that are business women, so. I'm in a whole other league. Like, shut the fuck up, Max. <laughs> he's doing nothing right now. <laughs> I haven't seen him in like five scenes, but still in my mind, he's playing as like, I'm here to support women, women in business. Do you have a small business? Mm, that's right. Let me, let me just show you my proposal. Puts his dick out. Like, that ain't it. Do they all just like fail? Okay, you're projecting like a lot of misogyny for like a future women's march organizer. You know what? We're moving on to Maya. Uh, Maya's of, like, stop down. What's that? Oh. What company was it? <clears throat> Excuse um... me. You don't you tell me to relax. You oh, tell her to relax. And do it again. Shugging wine. You are sitting on a table. What is this? <laughs> is that your idea of a party? That's so funny, though. Oh my god. Put that in my dating profile. Put that. Put that on a shirt. <laughs> put that in my tombstone. Let the people fucking know. That is the way. I thought you were done. Experimenting. You think everyone that's bi is experimenting? You don't know anything. You have zero gaydar. Excuse me, kid. I lived through New York in the 80s. My gaydar is strong as a bull. Swan, is she not eating? Uh, right? How much she weigh? How much she weigh? Uh, I don't, I don't know. I just... <laughs> You're very hardworking. Oh, yeah, okay. A hardworking pill. You know what's a hardworking pill? My antidepressants right now, because what the fuck is she on about? Yeah. Oh, my Maury? God. Maury? <laughs> Maury doesn't have a pot to piss on. Oh. You know why it's so stressful to me hearing this, too? It's like, it's her internal OST, Danielle's, that's playing over and serving as a backtrack for all of these conversations that feel like it's being talked at you. <laughs> Like, they try to make you seem as though you're part of the conversation and they care and they're talking about you but in reality they're talking and you're there and it sucks it just and you don't really know what you're supposed to do in that situation can i just walk away is my mom gonna pull me back should i participate in this conversation or not if i do what do you even say like can we not do this we gossip i think we know how to gossip and that's like through direct messages even in a room full of people, let's just promise to gossip and spill the tea in the DMs. <laughs> I feel like it's the safest way. We just have to make sure like the Wi-Fi is working at all times or that we have data. But like for the sake of sanity, for the sake of everyone here, for the sake of everyone involved or whatever, let's just be good with our gossiping and like keep it on the down low. People that don't need to know, don't need to hear, they won't. The people that need to hear, they're in the group chat. Well, everybody's crying at the shiva. Literally not a wet eye. I have not seen one person cry. I'm starting to think that no one even gives a fuck about Abby. They're just using it as an excuse to come together and network. Even when Abby's death was first described, like when people started asking, when Danielle started asking, like, who the fuck is Abby? She was described in such low level degree of connection. Everyone's just like gathering for whatever reason. Like it just felt like the right thing to do. Who the fuck is Abby? Why aren't we learning about her? You know, whatever it is that you're gonna do. 
I mean, good babysitters are so hard to find. It's impossible. It's That's true, and you still haven't found one. I'm, I'm actually fully booked. Three, you've only got one family, right? I mean, they can't take that much time. How would you know that, Dad? Well, you've got so many different things going on all at once. Terrific. I have to with his lifestyle. Really? What do you mean? That's funny. I never would have pegged you for a man of luxury, Max. Oh, are you kidding me? Him and his friends go to the most ridiculously expensive restaurants. Don't you? You disgusting little man. So that means that whatever he's paying her is partially coming from Diana Agron. Because he's treating Danielle like a sugar baby. Shiva baby, sugar baby. Oh. He's treating Danielle like a sugar baby. Meanwhile, being a deadbeat fucking husband, you were disgusting. You were the lowest of the low. Who is this? Where did you find him? Um, no, that's that's so nice of you to offer. I just I don't think that's anything that I would um like. I don't really want to be like um a girl boss. I mean, that's understandable. I can't believe that she used girl boss in a der derogatory way though. I guess it is kind of I actually hate that word. <laughs> as good as a gig as that sounds to be to be working under Diana Agron day and night, I don't think it would be a good idea because her disgusting husband would be there all the time and she'd be babysitting two people. I have the same bracelet. Really? Oh, wait. That's a big yikes. I guess we both have fabulous taste. Well, um, or you're fucking the same guy. <laughs> I would say it's a little bit extravagant. Really? But, um, that's him. Was it a special present? Was it for your high school graduation or something? Yeah, I think so. It, must it was a bad call for her to try to push that her parents gave her that and them having, like, just banking on her father's al Alzheimer's <laughs> was a bad call. But who would have known, right, that Max was going to show up here? Who would have known that Abby was chill, like, dead like that? You've already started with this lie, and now you have to die with it. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, my God. Are you okay? Yeah. Um... That's awful. That is actually awful that... <laughs> Her daughter was an afterthought. Mommy. Yeah, Pukla. Pukla? Pukla? Are you disappointed in me? What? No. Um, sorry. Excuse me. Honestly, the only person, the only person in this entire movie so far that not only has had moments of like, genuinely trying to help Danielle because yeah she was also trying to give Danielle a hard time here and there but you could chalk that up to flirting because it definitely was and also the only one that was actually looking pretty closely at Danielle she was the only one that noticed that Danielle had tights earlier and then suddenly didn't like Maya's 100% still in love with her I just want to ask why is it even a choice like what is happening do you not think that you're worthy of her because None of what you're doing feels like it's real enough. Probably something like that. Actually, you know what? That's valid. <laughs> That's so fucking valid. Nice cum stain. Thank you, Maya. Actually, you need to be less sensitive, okay? And where did you get it? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, I'm allergic to passive aggressiveness. Hi. Hi, I'm Max. Maya. Are you, what are um, you doing? Daniels? cousin or sister or something because you guys look you guys look really similar we grew up together oh so kind of like oh. family i don't know we went to prom together oh that's so sweet it is so sweet no that's not and brought me a dead corsage he wasn't dead it was fully a dead flower oh are you picking up on this max do you understand i know we like had a limo uh -huh, yeah he spiked the punch say it say you fucked and we like fucked my that's go orgasm mm-hmm what? It was a nice What? Oh, sorry, it really, hey, it really was. Okay, it's good to see you. It was. You know what? During a time where death is being respected, honored, remembered, or whatever, talk about fucking. Just talk about fucking. It is less awkward, significantly less awkward. It will make the situation better because you're talking about how you can start life, even though that's not the only reason that people have sex and should never be. Sisters. Yeah, like a good sister fucks her sister. What the hell? So are you are you in the arts? As, are you in the arts as well? Yeah, the art of 
fucking Danielle until she comes. No, Danielle doesn't need to work because her parents pay for everything while she does her like art thing. Are they both ganging up on her right now? What is this? What actually is this? Max has some set of balls. Like they're not big, they're just multiple balls to not only corner Danielle and pressure her when he has so much to lose. Like you're the one that's living cozy right now. Danielle doesn't really have, I mean, no offense, Danielle, but like compared to, you know, she doesn't have anything that's tying her to, she's here. She's just starting. She doesn't have a kid. She doesn't have a wife. Her parents will unconditionally be there for her despite them giving her a hard time and busting her balls or ball, singular ball. So like, where do you get off, Max, thinking that this is okay to do? Especially like, she's a loose cannon. Like, she can fucking tell on you right now. You must be really in love with this kid. You don't need to be getting paid. I'm sorry, how do you guys know each other? We met at Julia. Yeah. Why, you never go to I go temple. sometimes. You're full of surprises today. She's the one? That's full of surprises. Okay, Mr. Cumbucket. So for you, cute. cute. Or for Dan, cute. damn. For all of us. Cute. So many people are horny at the Shiva. So many horny people. Thought you'd be swatting the boys away like flies. <laughs> well, I wish she would swat them away a little harder. Uh, no. I have to go to the bathroom. Oh, what? you tell. Oh no, they're gonna. No. Eh. She is picking up the wound. He is the wound. He is the open wound. Oh, did he not? mean to I thought oh nah oh that's horrible that's actually horrible that is humiliating and kind of gross like I think at some point she really did think that she had all the power she thought that she had some control over this. The moment that he got an upper hand, he did not hesitate, bitch. <laughs> he did not hesitate to rub it in her face by not rubbing it in her face. Do you know what I mean? Are you okay? Yeah, can we go, like, now? She's really not. This is a disaster. Where did you go? Your what? skin and bones. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. So you just study and uh, don't eat and go out with your beautiful friends, is that it? Is that your life? What are you? It's also so gross the amount of times that people are trying, these adults are trying to focus on her body and her sexuality while at the same time keeping her from having any agency of it. They will broadcast that she's losing weight, flat out asking her, how much do you weigh now? Are you dating anyone? Are you fucking anyone right now? But the moment that Danielle is actually trying to do, actually she's not even doing anything she was just sat there on a table with Maya and then no one could hear their conversation so they could just like assume that she was having funny business with Maya because they have a history the moment that she does actually try something the adults are like no that's even true for the time that she tried to blow Max in the bathroom they kept talking about her body so she makes the decisions to send him a nudie and then to try to blow him. And both of those situations, he's like, no, no, no. Because he know, because they know that like it's inappropriate and it's bad. So why is it okay to still like talk to her about these things? But the moment that she does express that and like acts on it because those urges are real and they exist within her, suddenly it's like, oh no, she's, you you big slut, Danielle. You can't be fucking uh, doing this. You're a child. You're such a good girl. Are you on drugs? Like, whoa. Um, I'm just gonna go there. Oh, you. 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 Oh, Are you, are you okay? I'm like... <laughs> what? What? What is it? What? It's literally nothing, okay? Well, you're laughing, so what's so fucking funny? Nothing's fucking funny. I, I miss you, okay? Okay. And I was like excited to, to, to see you. Okay, I miss you too. Sick. That's awesome. 
Cool. No doubt, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. I wouldn't know because you literally never text me. So. That is simply not true. I, I text you all the time. I replied to your fucking story and you didn't, you just like saw you it. You do not reply to a reply, okay? Well, you should. That's psychotic behavior, but that makes sense for you. Why don't you fucking reach out? I just told you that I did. I told you that I reached okay, out. Well, why don't you just call me like an adult? Nobody calls, so. Communication question mark? I'll see you later. Yeah. <laughs> First genuine smile though, that's a plus. I don't even know if I want an end game in any of this. I don't know if I want Maya and Danielle to actually make up and then they get back together. No, the only thing on my mind right now, apart from the chaotic bisexualness and all of that shit, all the queerness that is sad and chaotic, right now in front of me at this moment on this day is that I just want Max to burn. I want his wife to leave him. I want his baby to fucking hate him. Why is this the brand of man that bisexuals find? Bisexual females. Like, why Why are we here? And then bisexual men get guys like Charlie. <laughs> I'm just wondering. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. How old is she? Oh, she's 18 months. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, just over a year. You two know each other because of your parents? Yeah. No. No. You drop that bomb. You drop that fucking bomb, Danielle. Do it. We met at Shul. Yeah, Damn sure. it. Or did we? No. How did you leave your phone in the bathroom? That's a bit. What is it? Shook, sh oh, her clients. Her clients are texting her. How do you know her passcode? Shoot, I'm looking because I'm, I just am trying to find it because I need it right now. I'm like, why do you need it right now? She has a business to run. I'm sure you could find more here, you know? Okay. Okay, Maya. You know, it was unlocked. You don't have a passcode? So you might want to find it. I just wouldn't want them to know their daughter's a fucking whore. Not the slut shaming. Not the slut shaming in 2023. Yo, you better be wearing headphones with me right now. There's no way I'm suffering through this by myself. The fucking, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. You're very curious, aren't you? I'm just wondering mm -hmm. how female entrepreneurs do it all. You need a great support system. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, you need a husband who's supportive of young mm -hmm. female entrepreneurs. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised mm -hmm. you to work from home. Oh, oh, I always way. tell her that about the lipstick. Mom, lipstick is not going to fix this. Your daughter is having a mental breakdown and she cannot breathe. She hasn't breathed in like a year. If lipstick fixed anxiety and depression and like mental breakdowns, the makeup industry would be so much more than it actually is right now. She had uh, kind of an extended awkward phase. You know, she was kind of chubby for quite a while. Oh, I don't know. Oh, there was so this boy. Cute. She had a thing for him forever. Yes, I guess he said no. And like everybody at school knew and saw. Why? In the world, are you telling this story that clearly traumatized her all over again to strangers and family members? Why are you doing this to your own daughter? What's going on? Don't you have Alzheimer's? <laughs> but for some reason, this story is like, maybe that's it. He doesn't remember any stories of his own. So he just talks about the stories of his daughter. Doesn't he have good stories of her? This sucks. They keep comparing her to the actual baby in the room that they're talking about. She's not even a child anymore. Like she's, she's in college, right? Why the fuck are they still treating her like she's a baby in a crib and that any of this is, is appropriate? It's so gross. Like this is a very authentic look into what goes on in the mind of a person that is put in this situation. And that's why like it's taken me back because Lord knows, Lord fucking knows I've been here. Lord fucking knows you've probably been in here too. Jesus Chris is aware of all of our suffering, being queer, being invalidated for your queerness, I don't know about the exact situation though of having my sugar daddy and like my ex in the same place, but we've had versions of this. And then them constantly talking about 
such intimate details about you and your body and like you growing up and it's so it does such a very good job of making me feel suffocated with the way that the camera's just so close to them, the music, them talking over each other, you know, the vultures, I mean, the family members. It feels like it's never going to end and you're just about to explode. It actually kind of feels a little bit validating that we all kind of went through this and are here and are sort of, I was about to say sort of mentally stable. Sort of, I guess. It's half and half, right? We have our good days. And then we have days where we just want to choke everyone in sight. And not in a good way. Let go! Danny, let's take it easy. Everything's okay. Oh, it's okay. You think that I'm a little baby? I don't think that you're a little baby and I... This is way too, this is way realer than I thought it was gonna be. Why the women gotta do this to me, bro? I thought I was gonna have a good time. The thing that also kind of gets me about this and why I fucking hate it is because you always, you will never not look like the unreasonable bad guy in this situation. You will always look like the one that just acts up for no reason. And it's just like, talking back to them you're rude and like that's just because that's just how you are so like you reacting to this which is natural and human because this is a really fucked up situation people are ganging up on you taking turns tossing your dirty laundry around it's so stupid it sucks when you finally act up and say something you're the shitty one you're the disrespectful one <laughs> until you're making your own money and you're living in your house and paying your own bills you're not a human being you don't have any right to boundaries or privacy or any agency with your body or your choices. Like none of that is real. Not until you're making your own money. This is so, I am triggered. <laughs> Danielle's personality is the way that she is, meaning that like she has a tendency to self-sabotage. But like, where does that come from? That wasn't just like a natural quirky thing that developed over time. She does this to herself because She's trying to find some sense of control over anything because nothing is within her control. So she's just like grasping, trying to find ways to fucking feel some sense of control, no matter how minuscule. The more that it is slipping from her fingers, the more chaotic she's going to be. She's bloodied and she's picking on that wound, probably going to get an infection at some point. Her fucking her clothes are soiled because of the stupid man and the lukewarm coffee. She's a literal and figurative mess. <laughs> Just to be clear, I don't blame the baby. The baby, babies cry. That's what they do. I blame the parents that brought the baby. I think it would be best if we um, ended this. Fine, whatever. Sure. Yeah. yeah. We probably should before your wife runs out of money. <laughs> Can I borrow you for a second? For what? She's really for hungry. And uh, I need an extra pair of hands. Where's your husband? Can't he help you with that? Can you hold her? You want, you really want me to? I just need you to hold her for a second. I've got some stuff in the bag. And... You're hot, but you're so fucked. I get it. This is a shitty situation to find out that like you're husband is less than the man that you thought he was which wasn't even that high to begin with already so that's shitty do not use your kid as a litmus test <laughs> don't put your kid anywhere near this at all and this is coming from me i hate kids sorry i'm untucking my shirt for the rest of this because i feel like i have to match the energy of uh disheveledness and and messness I'm already there with the bisexuality. Just need to flute it up a bit more. Yeah, but I can do both. I just need to. I can do both. I can do both. I'd like you to call the car. Honestly, not bad. No, 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 no. You don't. Why would you use your hands for that? And this is me saying that when I have 100% done this. Have you been in this situation? Because I have. Like, I don't know if that's normal, but I have been in a situation where I'm not even thinking. I'm just like, oh, I can fix this. I can fix this mess. Tries to clean up shattered glass with my bare hands. And then I end up in the ER with stitches. It's right, where is it? Oh, it's here. Do you, do you see this? Why is this the realest? <laughs> I don't know. Oh. 
Oh, baby, you don't need to know what you're doing. No, I don't <laughs> no. know. Honestly, same. That reaction Just, you're gonna to moving back in, Listen, the mere thought. Scenario, you can move back in with daddy and me. No. Right? no. That's a truth chart right there. That's the pitch. Let's listen no. it again. No. Right? No. <laughs> no. It's perfect. Because, yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's been wanting to go home. If they had just done this an hour earlier, when she asked to go home, none of this would have happened. She was trying to avoid this. No, I'm not judging. I'm not judging. I mean, you I just, clearly I, are. No, I'm not. I, yeah, you are. I wanted so. money, and it was easy. It felt nice to like have power and yeah, be like appreciated. Do you want me to pull out for you? You drive a car? Yeah, I think I'm a pretty good driver. Oh, thank you. No. Bye, Mrs. Bronstein. Wait, doesn't she have an expired license? Yeah, they took it away. I mean, she'll get away with it. She's old. Old people get away with all sorts of shit. Never mind. She killed someone. We were helping Mrs. Bronstein to her car, Mom. Why? Why? Because you're supposed to help fucking old people. I don't know. Don't you dare use that language or that tone with me, young. Thank you. Come on, I got the Uber that's Uber all this. Let's go. Read a fucking room, Joel. Terrific. Catherine, you think you can, can fit in on that same seat? This is horrifying. Thank you. Just the pace at which it's happening, too, is... Okay, last one. My God. Hey, yes, just, uh... Oh. Just find my keys. Here we are. Okay. That's actually really nice. Everyone ready? It's actually very nice. It's also, like, if you notice, too... It's the same kind of chaos happening. It's all of the same ingredients of what made her suffocate inside the Shiva, but now in an even smaller space in the van. And yet you don't hear the music and you just have like Maya there holding her hand and it's still quiet in her head somehow. It does kind of have the ending that I wanted, which is for Max to crash and burn because his wife knows about this now. Also, I hope that an entire orchestra is just playing in his mind 24 7 and he gets no moment of respite from it no not a single minute to breathe because no one does it for him you're telling me he has some sort of attachment to his kid that it can like quiet the music down for him i don't think so at least danielle has that with maya max will never know that because he uh is too busy hunting down women for sport business women my bad moral of the story from Shiva Baby right now is that women are simply better. I think that like, this is definitely a movie that depends, like it's carried by two things. One is Rachel Sennett's performance in this, outstanding. Like I cannot stress enough how engaged I was and kept being engaged because she was at the forefront. From the micro expressions to like her bigger reactions, I believed everything that she like everything she was putting down i was picking it up i was like yes bitch um, nom, 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 nom. delicious and that's not to take away from the other cast members who were so great like i hated the right people and felt uh, about the right people you know like i don't know who the actress is that plays i mean she looks familiar the the actress that plays um Rachel Sennett's mom, that might be Polly Draper. I know I've seen her in other movies. She was really good in this. Molly Gordon, the actress that plays Maya, is like their chemistry. We're meeting them and spending a few hours with them at a shiva, but they had known each other their entire lives. As Maya had said, like as a throwaway line in one of the scenes to Max of all people. And it was incredibly effective. They do look like they've known each other for a while. And also people expressing that like they, they look alike and them openly accepting it too, saying that it's kind of fucked up. And even though I have, <laughs> as I've mentioned, probably in the beginning of this, have no idea about Jewish traditions and I, didn't, I had to look up what a shiva was. I found so many things and this is going into the second thing that I feel like really works well for this movie. Things that I had related to when I live on a completely different part of the world and grew, uh, grew up in a different part of the world. There was so much about what was happening that I felt like mirrored so many of my personal experiences. It also kind of feels like it's a horror movie. <laughs> I feel like I watched a specific genre of horror. During the moments that she was on the brink of a panic attack, 
I was right there with her, with Danielle. And I guess like even though I have certain questions, why did her and Maya break up? Who decided to break up? What does she actually want to do? Will she continue being a sugar baby? Is that still a path that she wants to pursue? Does she genuinely enjoy it still? But I don't think that those questions or like the answers to those questions matter as much as the questions themselves, if that makes sense. Like, I don't think that we need to have like a very solid ending. And it's not like they gave us one anyway. It was trying to capture this moment in life. Do I like this movie? I do. <laughs> I didn't, honestly going into it, I didn't have much expectations. I just knew that I was gonna enjoy seeing Rachel Sennett, which I did. If I'm gonna be honest though, I do feel as though there were certain parts of the movie that felt a little redundant. Like I just felt like we were circling around the same thing over and over and kind of dragged. I don't know if that's valid. Like this is my first watch. So I'm obviously gonna watch it again. Not now, not anytime soon, but that opinion could change. The runtime of this movie is 77 minutes. Like it's um, around 20 minutes short of a standard film. So it's already like not that long of a movie, but there were still parts of it where I felt like I really enjoyed it. Yeah, that was fun. I'm so glad I got to see it. Anyway, those are my thoughts. Uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Uh, what do you think about Shiva Baby? Is this the first time you're hearing about it? Um, have you already seen it? Do you like Rachel Sennett? Are you excited for Bottoms? Because I am. I'm always pro Bottoms. I'm here to support that through and through.